Hi everyone, it's your boy Just a Freak and I'm back with another manga haul and this time I have two boxes and the first one is from a local retailer, they're called Manga Shop so yeah, we're gonna see what I have in this one and of course, as lately I also have a box from Sci-Fire, a slightly bigger one so I hope Hopefully I have a ton of cool stuff in here. I mean, for me, it's gonna be cool because I ordered it. So probably not ordering stuff that I don't like, hopefully. But yeah, hopefully you will also enjoy it. But enough with that, let's dive into, into this. So first we're gonna take a look at the one from Sci-Fire. And if you haven't heard of Sci-Fi, they are basically the new uh, the new um, book depository. They are from the UK, and uh, lately they have quite uh, quite good prices. I mean, at least for me in my area, they're good. And I also have a coupon code that's always available, so I also get 10% off with every purchase and there's also some loyalty program that gets you additional credit with each buy if you want you can use the same coupon code uh, the coupon code is my channel's name it's just a freak so feel free to use it uh, and uh, yeah try it out uh, they also sent these uh, bookmarks and I, it's it's a thing that I also liked about uh, book depository in the past, uh, wordery, when that was still available. I, I mean, I've been collecting each one of them. I have a stack in my manga room. But as you can see, really well packaged, as I'm used to with them. So yeah, uh, all of the packages so far were pretty good. I can even say they go a little bit overboard, but they remind me of right stuff. I mean, stuff uh, packaged in multiple layers, I saw only in right stuff in the past. So I'm glad that they were getting uh, similar stuff in uh, here in Europe, because we freaking deserve it. We pay more for manga anyway. <laughs> Enough about that. Let me clear this all up and after that, can dive into the manga. First, from this box and maybe something that's really exciting it's uh, volume 2 from Boys Abyss and I gotta say I'm so excited to to see that this series is getting uh, is getting a release because goddamn uh, at a point this was hyped in some groups on discord and I started reading it online and it's so freaking good. It's right up my alley. It's the kind of story that I like. The art is really, really great. It's messed up, fucked up. It's a psychological series. And it's also pretty graphic. So yeah, I'm probably gonna have to censor that uh, since, you know, YouTube. But yeah, really happy to, to be able to get this. I can't wait to have all of this series into my collection. I freaking love it. Uh, and I'm glad that um, it's getting a release. Let me know if you're thinking about getting this one. Let me know if you want to hear more about this series because if you guys want, I can make an impression video on this one. But yeah, yeah, it says here explicit content. I read part of the series and <laughs> I know that it's explicit, but yeah, it's a psychological series that's really messed up. So if you're into that kind of, series those kind of thrillers uh, don't uh, don't sleep on this one it's it's quite great and yeah i also need volume one but it's gonna get here at some point next talking about uh, messed up psychological series i have one from suzo shimi blood on the tracks volume 13 and volume 14 so two volumes that i was missing finally have them and yeah i love this series i love this series if you're uh, into this kind of stuff you shouldn't you, you shouldn't sleep on this one as well it's about a boy a young boy and uh, his relationship with his mother and then they have a pretty pretty uh, toxic relationship i mean 
uh, his mother is overprotective at the beginning and uh, seems like she's nothing the life out of him and all of that stuff but that is transforming over the series in such a messed up <laughs> way that you won't believe at times but yeah i really really enjoyed reading this series and it's Suzo Shimi. i wasn't disappointed it was hard and it's one of his uh, his newest series i mean this just got finished recently in japan and yeah we're close to the finish as well but again always happy to get more Suzo Shimi and especially from one of uh, uh, from a series like this one next I got After School Beachcraft. This is volume three by Yan Press. And honestly, this series is only three volumes. It's a Nechi series. So that's all that I, I will say about this one. It's, it's etchy and I thought that I'll enjoy it. And it's short, so I'm, if, even if it's really bad, I won't be missing, uh, wasting a lot of money on it. Let me know if you read it and let me know uh, how do you feel about it. Another one that was in this box is volume 3 from Oshinoko. Uh, this is by the same mangaka that did Kaguya-sama Love is War. If you saw my uh, previous haul, you know that I got a ton of volumes from Kaguya-sama to fill in the gaps from my collection from that series. But yeah, Aka, Akasaka, really great mangaka. She delivers really great series and what I read, I mean, I read volume one and two from this series already, and it was pretty, pretty great, pretty great. It's about showbiz. So basically the story starts with uh, an idol and um, a really, really popular idol that uh, has some kids. And I won't say more because I don't want to spoil the beginning because even the beginning is it's quite interesting, but yeah, Aka Akasaka, you know, there's a lot of hype on Kaguya, there's a lot of hype also on this series, and uh, if you tried Kaguya, you're probably gonna like this as well. And if you don't want to spend money on it, you can try it on the Manga Plus app from uh, Viz. It's there, it's free, so you can start reading some chapters there and only after that go into spending money on manga. I know manga is quite, quite expensive. Another volume from this box is Made in Abyss, volume eight. The last haul, I was able to get the last volume that got printed, I think, from Made in Abyss. But let me tell you, I have every volume, every volume from Made in Abyss, but volume eight was out of print since forever. And when I saw that it finally, uh, I mean, not finally, I, I searched for it, for Made in Abyss, on Sci-Fire, and I noticed that uh, Volume 8 was available there. Then I was pretty happy because, uh, yeah, uh, I had almost the whole series, everything that's out, but I was missing a volume from a long time, for a long, long time. And every time I get into that situation, then volume go out of stock, out of print, I kind of uh, get some anxiety. Guys that are collecting probably feel somehow similar and can understand me how uh, hard it is to keep up with the releases and uh, everything in manga because they don't stay in print forever, sadly. Uh, but yeah, volume 8 and now I should be up to date and I'm really, really glad. Let me know if you're collecting this as well down below in the comments another series and this one is by dark horse printed out by dark horse and it's something that was out of print for a ton of years i mean i know that i was searching for this one even on ebay and stuff like that i tried to to get it second hand in uk in Romania, for example, the second hand, hand uh, market, it's almost non-existent. So, yeah, I tried to get it from elsewhere, but it was always expensive. And I saw that it's getting republished by Dark Horse. And I finally had the opportunity to get volumes. So, yeah, 
hopefully I'm gonna get everything from this one pretty soon. I think that these are three in ones and this is the third omnibus. So this is Neo Genesis Evangelion. It's a spin-off. It's called the Shinji Kari Rising Project. And it's more of a slice of life series. It's also etchy and stuff like that. And I heard that it's not that good, but I'm an Eva sucker and I really don't care. I have to try it, I have to read it, and I have to have it into my collection. It's, it's enough for me. And I'm really happy that they're reprinting it. I mean, I know that I bitch a lot of, about Dark Horse, that they print only a handful of volumes every time and their series uh, go out of stock, out of print really, really fast. But what I noticed over these six, seven years since I've been collecting manga, that they always uh, offer reprints. So if you wait long enough, you're gonna get it. So don't pay a ton of money for secondhand volumes. It's, it's not worth it. Just wait, it, they're gonna get a reprint. Another series that's the, that was into into this uh, box was Bloom Into You. And these are the volumes that I was missing from this Yuri series to have it complete into my collection. And I was happy to finally get it. I know that this one also has, a, is it a sequel or is it a spin-off? I don't know, let me know if, uh, if you know anything about that one. I also have to get that. But first, I want to finish reading this one and uh, get it done. Again, this was out of stock for a while. It's by Seven Seas, but it got reprinted or restocked in here in Europe. I don't know if only Europe had a problem with stock on this series, but now I finally have it. This is the last volume, I think. Yeah, I think volume eight is the last one uh, from this series, and I'm really glad to to be able to complete it. And the last two volumes from this box are uh, Higurashi, When They Cry. Um, this is volume one from Abducted by Demons arc and volume two from the Cotton Drifting arc. Done by Yan Press. Uh, if you saw my last haul, uh, you know that I got the other two volumes from these arcs. So right now I have two more arcs completed from Higurashi and I'm really glad this got series got recently reprinted. It was out of stock for a long while and I wasn't able to to get it and try it. But recently I saw that it's popping up in stock here in Europe and they had it on sci-fi. So as I said, I'm gonna gonna try to get it. But yeah, if you want to see the other two volumes from this series, and uh, they're in my previous haul, so check it out. I'm gonna leave a link uh, up there in the corner. And now let's see what I have in this box from Manga Shop. Uh, yeah, I don't have any coupons or anything for this uh, these stores yet. Maybe at a point, I don't know. I don't know, we'll see. But yeah, it's a Romanian store for, from where I buy my figures. I also used to buy anime from them. And I also buy manga from time to time. Because it's, uh, I mean, they were pretty expensive, but prices have gone up. But sometimes you find stuff on uh, sale and stuff like that. And yeah, it's convenient since it gets here faster, a bit faster. Ooh, nice, nice, nice. So I see that I got more volumes from something. But yeah, let me clear this out and we'll get to see what I have in this box over here. So in this box, I have the rest of the omnibuses from the Evangelion series that I showed previously. And I'm really happy. I'm really happy for once. I'm happy that I haven't uh, caved in and paid a ton of money for a second-hand manga on eBay. Nobody should do that, in my opinion. Nobody should overpay for a volume. Overpay, pay a hundred bucks for a volume or something like that just because it's not available. Just wait, wait, look, look over here. I waited for almost everything uh, so far in this haul 
and it got reprinted. So yeah, happy to see all of the volumes here. I'm saying this because sometimes I order volumes and I'm hoping to get everything, but after a month or so, I just get an email where they say that the order was canceled. But yeah, uh, so this is Omnibus Volume 1. Omnibus Volume 2. Omnibus Volume 3 was there. This is Volume 4. Volume 5. And the last one, volume six, with this group picture over here. Kind of reminds me of uh, the cover from the last uh, Evangelion movie that came out last year, I think. Yeah, something like that. But damn, I'm really happy to, <laughs> to, to have this. I don't know if it's good or if it's bad, as some people are saying, but I don't care. And I'm so happy that I haven't overpaid for this one. I'm so happy because at some point I almost gave in, caved in and I, <laughs> I almost uh, bought um, a pack from eBay for quite, quite a lot of money. But yeah, here are the spines. If you want to take a look at the whole series together and I, hopefully I'm not gonna um, gonna drop this but yeah quite quite happy to have this let me know if you have it let me know if you read it let me know what you think about it i mean i know that it's a spin-off i know that it's something else from the eva universe but it's eva so this is it this is my haul for this month around 30 volumes more or less really happy about my pickups this time and yeah i'm quite quite excited as i said i got a lot of stuff that wasn't in stock before and that's always nice and yeah hopefully you liked it and if you did please leave a like it helps the channel a ton and if you're new to the channel and you like this type of content and manga and stuff like that please consider subscribing to the channel and if you want to talk more about this, I'm always responding to comments. I'm more than happy to talk with you guys down there. And if you are comfortable on Discord, I also have a Discord channel, Twitter, all of that stuff. So, yeah. Also, don't forget, uh, there's a coupon for SciFire, 10% off with the channel name. So just type in just a freak and you'll get 10% on your whole order. And you can do that uh, as many times as you like. But thanks a lot again for being here. I really enjoy doing this kind of stuff. And hopefully people do as well. And yeah, hopefully I'll see you in my next video. And until then, go read your manga. Bye-bye.